Welcome back to Strings Attached, our mother-daughter um, knitting, well, all things string podcast. Um, today we've got a few knitting FOs, a crochet FO, some sewing, mm -hmm. and then a bunch of whips, yeah. new whips. Always have whips. New whips and new yarn. We're the whipping, whipping people. <laughs> well, I think all people that make things always have whips. Oh, yeah. So, okay, we'll start with uh, what we're wearing. So I have oh, yeah. on... You're Mallory. Oh, yeah. I'm Mallory. I'm Frida. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> and uh, we've got the babies here. They're in bouncy seats at our feet here, so we might have to take some, some breaks here. So if we look like we're going like this, it's because we're, we're rocking them. <laughs> yeah. Trying to keep them happy. So mm -hmm. oh, we got our tea. Oh, yeah. With our um, knitting podcast cups yep. from my sister. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. <laughs> so, okay. We'll start with what we're wearing. Okay. Um, I'm wearing my um, my big FO. It is the Magnolia uh, sweater. I'm making the summer version with the short sleeves. I don't know where that pattern is right now, but I have the long sleeve version here. <laughs> it's the same thing, only short sleeved. And uh, I'm using, um, or I used yarn called um, Clauda in Jasmine Jade. There's the little floral pattern. It was really pretty and fun to make. Um, I got this yarn from Good For You in Indianapolis. It's sport weight. It's got all these um, little twisted rib. It took me forever to do this bottom because I'm really tall. So I had to make it like five inches long. <laughs> it took me forever. But yeah, so it's got little baubles. And it's shaped like yoked down with um, short rows and make ones, I think. Maybe, maybe it didn't have short rows. Maybe it was just make ones. I don't remember now, but it was very, um, this part all up here was very simple. This part was just, you know, you just had to follow a grid and then down here, simple, but twisted rib, it just takes a long time because you got to knit through the back loop. But anyway, I love it and it's really soft. I haven't even blocked it yet and it's not even itchy, but I think I will block it just to make it, just to finish it and open up the pattern a little bit more. But yeah, all done. I love it. Yay. So, and then mom's got a sweater on. I've, we've talked about this one before. It's the Seven Sisters sweater. By, I think it's, um, we think it's Blue Sky Fibers, but we didn't yeah, know what the I pattern was. I didn't want to go up and get the pattern. But yeah. Anyway, I've, it's been made for a while. You've seen it before, but anyway, I thought I'd wear it for the podcast. Just a cotton, like a cotton yarn, cotton yeah. blend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So it's just now the right weather. We're just now getting the weather where you can wear kind of these. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know. I feel good in this right now, actually. Yeah. It's kind of chilly out, but Oops. not not cold and not hot. Baby waking it. So anyway, <laughs> so that was um, my big, my big FO. And this is my other FO for the week. I just made this up. It's a, um, it's just a cowl. Um, I used uh, Lion Brand Wool Ease Thick and Quick. And I don't remember what the collar was called. Um, well, it's actually, like <laughs> I think it was called like butterscotch or something, but it, I didn't ever have a, it didn't have a paper around it. Like it had fallen off yeah. in the store. And the little, they stuck a little sticker on it and it said, and I think it was butterscotch. Anyway. It's close enough. I just did, um, this is my first brioche that I've ever done. So I just found a YouTube video on how to do brioche, cast it on 15 stitches, and just did brioche the whole time until my skinny, this is one skein, I just did it until my skinny yarn ran out. And then just bound off and sewed it up. One skein knit. Yeah. And um, I think I'm going to make another one. I'll, I have an acquisition. Another acquisition to show. Yeah, I know um, But I'll just go ahead and show it, actually. So I'm going to make another one of these exactly like this. Because it was really, I mean, I did this in two days. It was really easy. In this yarn right here. So it's the same stuff, but it's the red and white. And, oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. Yes. IU, Indiana University colors. So you've been <laughs> doing a lot of different yarns. I've just been, yeah. I got bored just making sweaters. So I've been doing different things. Sure. I just needed to make some, like, quick mm -hmm. projects that... Yeah. Were easy to make, mm -hmm. and I didn't even try to. I mean, I didn't even try to sew this up pretty. I just, I just sewed it up. But it looks fine. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's just for me, and it's just a. Like I said, it took me two days. Just a quick little thing. I had a good time making it. Just knit in between baby feedings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I mostly knit between the hours of midnight and one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's when I mostly knit. <laughs> oh. So okay, you have FOs. I can show a couple while you're changing Putting into your dress. One of your other FOs. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. All right, I'll be right back. All right. So I think I had started this last time. I made another, uh, the Buffalo print, <laughs> Daisy Craft Farms, um, the little gingham plaid. And this one is in, you know, just like a dark red and a burgundy and a black. And it's come, I'm going to save it kind of for Christmas. Yeah, and I just put a little, you know, 
double crochet uh, binding around it. So I got that done, yay. It's kind of fun just to set and crochet. It's, it's different than knitting. It's, I don't know, to me it's fast, pretty fast. And then I thought I would try making a couple of project bags. And I actually, um, I don't know, I was watching YouTube, but seriously, I can't remember who I watched. But anyway, it's just a little, um, I grabbed this out of my sewing stash. It just happened to be right there in front. And it's a little drawstring bag. And I put uh, satin, or not satin, but gross grain ribbon. What is it, it called? Isn't that gross grain? Gross, gross huh. grain ribbon. I don't know. And it's real soft. It's uh, Some of it's not this soft. I tried to find it's soft. It's like slick. And my, the stuff I found at Joanne's the other day is not quite that soft. But anyway, it'll work. Um, that's got a whip in it. But anyway, I actually have a project in there. Oh, a whip. <laughs> I was like, what? A whip. And then, <laughs> so I thought I would try my hand at the, the red plaid, and I give this one to Mallory. Yeah. And I'm going to uh, put my um, IU cowl in there. Yeah, and it's, it's the same little thing. It's got the drawstring. And on this one, I, I tried. I didn't really watch a video on this. Oh, it's this. got my hair. Oh, I forgot to mention. It's got a little pocket in it. Hold on. Let me get these out of here for you. It's got a little pocket inside, and she can put something in it. I need to um, work on that little technique. I think if the bag was out. taller, the pocket could be Yeah, I need to make taller. a taller bag next time. Taller it's and wider. Though. But I was just kind of learning to... Well, you kind of went off of the size of my Cozy Up Knits bag. Yeah, kind of. We kind of... And this is exactly what the YouTube said to cut out. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't, you have to get me that YouTube link. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know. They'll have to figure that out. <laughs> what you used. So, anyway, that was a couple of things that I made. I forgot to I mention. this. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Okay. That was so pretty. I love that thing. I forgot to mention when I made that cowl, I used a 15. And it made a... Yeah, I think it's perfect. The gauge and everything for a cowl is just mm -hmm. perfect. Loose and fluffy. Mm -hmm. So, anyway. Okay. Okay. Um, I Any have FOs one ready? FO. Oh, yeah. Duh. I got my dress done. What pattern is this? Uh, this is McCall's M6957. I, it's the same one I made a little dress off of, and mm -hmm. we just made the same short sleeve regular dress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So key here. Let me get, let me step back for a second. Well, it's that's as good short, as it's going to get. Yeah, it's as good as it's <laughs> It just goes like above the knee. And she made me this little sash, which I don't have on right now, but this one's crying. if I wanted to dress it up a little bit. I could um, tie this little sash on with it. I just think the sash makes it just look a little dressier. Mm -hmm. Cute, I love it. It's really soft. It's the double brush cotton yeah, polyester. It's, just like a, it's cotton, not cotton. It's double brush polyester. Polyester. <laughs> just like a great everyday um, wear, you know, just soft. And, okay. Why don't you show your shirt and, yeah. your, and your pillow? Oh, we know they can't see our heads. Oh, <laughs> We're just yeah. talking. Go ahead and, and um, get, get your wrap on. Yeah. Okay, so I made one another sewing thing here. I got this fabric at Joann's. It's like a just a jersey knit. It's kind of a thinner, thinner stuff. And it was just a remnant. I really seriously didn't think I could get a shirt with sleeves, but I did. And it's kind of just a little fall t-shirt, and it is McCall's M6964. Just a little It's just plain. a nice little t-shirt. T-shirt. Yeah. I want one now. I yeah, want she one. wants one. Every now. time you make something, I want one. <laughs> so that, and I wanted to show something my sister made. Um, we had a family reunion Sunday, and my uh, dad passed away in 06, and she took all of his shirts, like everyday shirts and stuff, and uh, she made, there's well, there's six of us, and she made us all a pillow out of his old shirts. And she does... She makes pillows for hire. I mean, she's really good. And she put this really nice binding around it. And she's got her little tag right here. And um, it's out of my dad's old shirts. I recognize all these. He used to wear them. <laughs> for, these are like everyday shirts that he wore all the time. So, and to make it stable, because these shirts are thin, she put, um, what was it she told me she put back there? Interfacing or something. But anyway, it's real firm. It'll it'll keep because those shirts are old and they were pretty thin. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I thought she did a good job. She made six of them, one for each of us. So I wanted to show that. Okay, podcasting with two two month olds. <laughs> I'm finally I showed all my stuff, tried everything on, and I'm gonna sit down now. <laughs> Got the baby, the baby wrapped up, and she usually does pretty good in this once she gets settled in. So yeah, the other one's she should be able to sleep. Yeah, she's. 
I've got one that's fussy and wants held all the time, and the other one just hangs out. <laughs> yeah, she, she's your. I mean, at least they're not both that way. Yeah. Because you can only hold one at a time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can hold two, but it's not easy. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, whips. Whips. All right, so um, I have an acquisition and a whip. Um, so I was at Joann's, we were at Joann's, and I saw this yarn, and they had a little swatch knitted up, and it, it was really pretty on their little swatch, so I thought, man, you could make a, I have a sweater made out, I, I call it chenille. chenille, it's a chenille look, I don't know, I don't know if that's what it is, but I have a sweater that was just store-bought that is made out of that yarn, and it's really soft and comfortable, and they had this yarn and this swatch knitted up, I thought, well, I could knit a sweater out of that yarn, and it'd be kind of like that one, so anyway, it's called, it's baby yarn. It's for like blankets. It's called nap time. And this is just navy blue marine is what it's called. Um, it's worsted weight. So I thought, well, I'm, I'll make a cardigan um, out of it. So where's my pattern here? I found this. I love knitting pure and simple patterns. They are the best. They're so easy. Like, I mean, I've never, I have never made a sweater as nice and easy as any, any knitting pure and simple. Yeah. Any of them. You've never had to redo them or anything. Nothing. They've just I've, all been perfect. They're my favorite ever. And um, the author is Diane Soucy, I think. Anyway, the company is Knitting Current Simple. They're on Ravelry. Um, here's the cardigan. This is called Short Sleeved Three Button Cardigan. She makes some real easy names, too. They're not They're not like named anything. They're just what they are. She just labels them what they are. So, anyway, and most of them are with worsted weight or DK. But you can't really tell because it's on. so dark. Well, it's so dark and it's like, it's on the, I don't know. It's hard to, it's hard to have a cardigan, a top-down cardigan, like, where you can actually hold it up and, and get an idea of what it's going to look like. But anyway, this is the front. So it's kind of long and uh, I hate purling. And so it's kind of taking me a long time because you have to, I can't lean forward because it's baby. <laughs> there we go. Um, <laughs> so it's got this really pretty um, raglan, like, a little lacy raglan sleeve thing. It's really going to be nice. And the rest of it's just stockinette. Easy, easy. And then you um, go and pick up your front bands and your neckline and um, put those on later. And mm -hmm. it'll have three buttons down it. Which, oh, I didn't bring my buttons. Shoot. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I did. did. Yeah, I did. Never mind. They're just in here. But anyway, I'm not sure about it. It's worsted weight. And this pattern is written for worsted weight yarn. And it's on a size 8 needle. And I think if it was on like a size six needle, it would be better, it's but like it's so loose. loose. So, and I don't think the pattern is made to be loose like that. I don't think they intended that to be like that. So we'll see how it looks. We will see. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm going to finish it at this point because it's just an experiment kind of. And I'm just like, I just wanted to try that yarn and see what happens. So when I go and pick up the neckline, it kind of looks like corduroy. Mm -hmm. yeah, it, it feels does. like corduroy. Wide way But see how it's like so see-through? I just feel like the gauge, I did, I'm not checking. I, I'm just experimenting. I'm not messing with the gauge. I'm just doing what the pattern says and we'll see what happens. Mom said she'll wear it if uh, if it's too big for me. <laughs> yeah. You said that. I did. I'll wear it. I think it's so soft. It's not really for me, but I didn't want to say that. <laughs> so anyway. Show the buttons. Okay. Here's the buttons. Lady, lady. It's okay, Laney. There's nothing out there. A beagle. Here's the buttons. It's okay. And I think they'll be really pretty with this yarn. They're not glittery, but they shimmer kind of. Anyway, that's an experiment, so stay tuned. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work out. I'll let you know if I think it was worth it <laughs> or not. I got some more acquisitions, some fun buttons. Just fun buttons to show off. Oh my gosh, I can't deal with it. <laughs> she, she knows how to take care of the dog. <laughs> Lainey is like scared of her. <laughs> but anyway, she does have some pretty buttons here to show you in a minute. Because I really don't have anything else to say. Well, I do have some whips. I guess I can show something. But okay. go ahead, she's back. I forgot about all my buttons. Here they go. Aren't those cute? I don't know why I'm going to put them on. Just something. These adorable the adorable on like a little kid's little Christmassy little coat, or oh, cardigan, little oh, like yeah, a red, little coat, yeah. red and black little mm. knitted coat, and then this big fun thing. I don't know why it's gonna go on. It looks like it would go on a bag or a purse. Or... Maybe that red and black bag. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that dog. Why is he in here? 
<laughs> it's dog city in here. Okay. I'm gonna take a break. <laughs> no, I don't. Um, okay, so now we're on to whips. Uh, go ahead. Okay. Well, that was a whip. You did just did a whip. Well, it was kind of an acquisition and a whip, so. Okay. Okay. Whew. So I showed this, like, I don't know, before I had the babies. And um, I hadn't worked on it until last night. I think I picked it up. It might have been two nights ago. Anyway. Because I just needed something other than that blue thing. Because that, that yarn is it's just, I just wanted normal. Something normal. <laughs> normal, and normal and mindless. And this is in the round. And so this is my anchor uh, by Petite Knit. My size. Anchor my size. Um, I've got, I knitted on it last night and today. I've probably got another inch and a half, two inches done since last time I showed it. But I'm just in the body. So it's just in the round. Straight stockinette from now on. And um, at first I didn't really think this was going to fit me, but the more I look at it, I think it's going to fit perfectly. It's just going to be bulky, kind of, which yeah, I think, I think it's kind of meant to be bulky. Yeah. So anyway. It's so stretchy. It'll be fine. It's really, yeah, it's like, it's really, I never realized this. This is Cascade, um, Cascade 220 in the Grape Aid. And I never realized how like stretchy mm -hmm. and like, it just goes right back. Like as soon as you let go, I don't, spongy, I don't know what that word be elastic elastic, -y. elastic -y. but it's 100 percent wool it's not like it's got elastic in it but it's just really nice yarn and it knits up well so anyway that's my other whip and other than that well, that's I'll, all i got i'll show this whip i've showed this oh, before yeah. too and i really only put uh one more round on it since i showed it the last time but i'm trying to just work on it here and there so i think i've got Another increase to do and 10 more stitches and then I'll divide it with the sleeves and be on the bottom of it. So that's our anchors. Yeah. We're both working on an anchor. Yep. Mine summer, hers is the winter one. So that's all for me for whips. So what do you got? Any more? Oh, well, okay. Oh yeah, you do. I've got um, five <laughs> stockings to make. And this is from an old pattern. I think it's Better Homes and Garden Christmas book. Of years ago, I couldn't find the book, but I kept this page. It's like I'm thinking the book tore up, maybe. Anyway, I oh, made... the magazine, wasn't it? No, it was a book. Oh, okay. Um, I've made how many? I don't know. I think I said that before. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I don't know how many I've made. So but... many. We'll have to show them at Christmas time you, when you get them down. This is how far I've got on this one. This one's all sparkle yarn. And oh, I wow. put that little bit of purple, even though that's not necessarily... I, because this is you for a little a girl. Touch. And then uh, I've got another little great granddaughter, and I'm going to put pink in it. And then uh, I don't have the other yarn in here, but then I have a little um, great grandson, and I'm going to put like a blue stripe in it. I may not make it the same, but anyway, I've got one started, and then I have two grandbabies to make. <laughs> and um, we'll probably put, I was thinking about putting a peach in one and aqua or mint that's in the, the colors other, because that that's the color she's used. So I might do that for there. So I've got five to make. Wow. Are you going to be able to do that? Yeah. They go really fast. Well, they're all, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is you, my baby. Okay. Okay. This is exciting. Yeah. This is. You didn't even have this started last time, did you? I just had the yarn last time. Yeah. I guess right. I should have the picture here. I feel like I'm squinting a lot. Like the well, light's shining in my eyes or something weird. Oh, where's the picture? I'm not, I'm not trying to frown. Oh, this is the um, throw over. By uh, Andrea Mowry. Andrea Mowry. I always forget her name. D. Renee Knits. Drea Renee. Drea Renee Knits. Okay. It's the throw over. I got that part. Oh, uh, right. yeah. So, anyway. <laughs> I, oh, ooh, careful. I've got a lot going. Wow, yeah. look at that. Oh. Oh, my gosh. I cannot. I can't even look at this sweater. There is somebody. I just watched a podcast I I, make it that so looks bad. very similar to this one. Oh, really? It well, may, we it may be it. a gray. No, we didn't copy. It may be a gray instead of a green, but they had this same throw over with some pinks in mm, it. But, I know. love it so much. And you can tell about this yarn. I don't know. Well, it's wool of the Andes. First of all, I'm making one exactly the same colors. Only you you might not I make might green. use a more aqua-y color, but I cannot. I like can't even look at it. I get so jealous. Wool of the Andes Tweed from Knit Picks. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I do not know all the color scheme, all the colorway names off my head. Yeah, I didn't bring them. But they're here. all, um, but Knit Picks uses like the same colors for all, like a lot of their different like yarn bases. Even if it's different weights and yeah. they still call it the mm -hmm. same color. Yeah, I see what you're saying. So it's like the, yeah. it's like the hunter green that Knit Picks uses and it's the hot pink. It's, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so yeah, yeah. that, that was love. fun. This was my first, other than that fair isle uh, cowl cow thing I made, but this is my first color. Oh, 
collar works. Call, the first collar works sweater you've ever made. Yeah. That I'm aware of. Anyway. And I think, oh, I think I've got it loose enough. I don't know. I hope it's pretty tight. Ooh, maybe it'll fit me. <laughs> probably will. <laughs> You'll probably give me well, the blue thing and I'll give you this one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll block it. It'll be fine. It'll loosen up. It's anyway. <laughs> I love it so much. Every That's time she gets it out around me, I'm so mad. <laughs> nice can't silly, believe I'm not making mean. it. Okay. <laughs> Is that all of our things? I showed all my lips. Did you show your yellow shirt? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Well, I guess dress. we're kind of short today, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Oh, well. I don't think I have anything else to talk about, really. I've got sewing acquisitions up there that I just haven't got done. Oh, yeah. Well, you have so many sewing acquisitions, it's hard to keep up. Yeah, on Every time she goes to Joanne's, more fabric. Yeah, and <laughs> more quilts. patterns and quilts. I did get some other fabric, but she wouldn't let me show it today because I've showed too much. I said you got to get something quilts. on one of your other quilts done before you show more. I did fabric. make a whole bunch of those more squares of that one. Well, why didn't you show that? That's well, something I they're all did. the same thing. I had them sewn together. So, and I ran out of the little white, so I'm gonna have to ask you, Gail, can I have some more fabric? <laughs> <laughs> this is for your calf faucet balloons thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. You should make me sound real mean. You wouldn't let me show. <laughs> I just said, why don't you get something sewn before yeah, you show I something I new? I need to. I'm awful bad at starting stuff. <laughs> but it's the other right. one that she gave me the fabric, I couldn't remember the name of it. It's Lorna Dune. Oh. Was the name of the pattern. Okay. Okay. Faucet. Lorna Dune. Lorna Dune. Like the cookie? Isn't Lorna Dune a cookie? I have no idea. Probably. I, I have no is. idea. <laughs> that name sounds really familiar to me. I don't I know why. I think it's a cookie. I'm not sure either. Anyway. Okay. I'm not started it. I may not start it till after Christmas because there's too many stockings to knit. Yeah, you've got a lot. If you're trying to get that done by Christmas. Yeah. So. I'm telling you, I have three at home that I'm not going to use. I know. If I run out, I will. Yeah. If I run out of Because I'm not going to do stockings for my babies this year. They yeah. They can't really open them. So you can use That's them. True. And then you can give them back to me later. That's true. <laughs> I thought about on these. I don't have, I, I, I don't um, embellish them. They're just pretty much a stockings. I thought about buying buttons and putting like Aww, a button on top. Yeah. I do put their name. I cricket a name on like black like felt. felt and sew it on there so that mm -hmm. that stocking is theirs. Yeah. But That's a new that. thing you used to do. Yeah, you I used just, to just rely on me to know whose all stockings were whose. Yeah, then we had uh, Christmas stickers just stuck on them. Remember yeah. that? Like gift. gift tags, yeah, stuck on there. That she is, she, she knew which all they were. Yeah, but anymore, so there's many so many. You have so many great grandkids now. I can't. I can remember all of the, the originals, originals and then all of the first grandkids. Yeah, but when we get into the great grandkids, I they I can't remember them all. Yeah. There's too many of them. Yeah, there's too many of them. <laughs> we'll show them at Christmas time. Yeah, we'll she has got them. like twenty of these things at least. Probably. Yeah. I mean several. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But okay, I guess that we're gonna be short today because yeah, we don't really have anything else to show or talk That's about. It. <laughs> oh well, we'll get another one going. In yeah. A couple oh weeks. well, I need to start my. Um, I keep saying I'm gonna cast on my Jupiter crop, my Caitlin Hunter Jupiter crop, because I have yarn. I've had yarn for it since before I had the babies. So like three months ago, I've had them. I yeah. <laughs> but uh, well, it's a busy months, thing too. To I gotta. To you gotta that. like follow that. Yeah, that grid, and I just haven't had a chance where I felt like I could sit down and really concentrate on it, but mm -hmm. I will, I will start it. Mm -hmm. But right now it's just feeling good to just knit, like they call it vanilla knitting, just sit and knit, 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 knit. But it's getting easier for you to knit. Yeah, bit. it is. I'm getting better at like scheduling myself mm -hmm. to have some time. Like I said, between 12 and 1. Yeah. <laughs> and she goes back to work soon, so. I'm oh yeah, I go back to work less than two weeks now. Mm. Flew by. Yeah. It's crazy. It's kind of bittersweet. Bittersweet yeah. to go back to work. I mean, I don't want to leave my babies, but it might be nice to get out a little bit. Yeah, around people, other people. Yeah, and just have Besides a me. <laughs> just have a break for my sanity, you know. But uh, anyway, okay. I guess we will see you guys next podcast. Yeah, short and sweet. Yeah. All right. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.